I am retired. I was a pediatrician as my career. And for so long, you're away from your family and on call and, you know, long hours. And there are many things that you don't do with your children that you wish you had had time to do. Well, now I'm not making up for all of that. <laughs> it's been 10 years since my diagnosis. It was out of the blue. I was um, uh, in basically good health. Uh, we'd gone for a vacation and I was having pain, occasional pain in my uh, left breast. And I said, after we go, we went to Jamaica. I said, when we come back from Jamaica, I'll go see about this nagging pain in my left breast. It was time for my mammogram anyway. And so I said, well, we'll hit this vacation and we'll come back and I'll see about it. And when I had the mammogram, um, it actually showed um, a lesion in my right breast. And they told me that I had metastatic uh, breast cancer. Metastatic breast cancer is when the breast cancer has left the breast and the area around the breast and has gone to other parts of the body. It is the kind of breast cancer that we think of as being controllable, but not curable. I began receiving my therapy here at UNC and I've been having good results from the beginning. Uh, they uh, found me to be um, without evidence of any tumor after the first round of therapy. And I proceeded to do really well until three years later when I had uh, the evidence of metastasis to my brain. And um, at which point, uh, I, I had surgery. She's done spectacularly well, in part because she has leaned in, she has been on therapy now for quite a few years and has done beautifully and is living her life as normally as anybody can. Um, and I think that's a testament also to some of the advances, as well as to her own approach to her care and to her intersection with, with us, the doctors and the providers. It's been seven years now, God is good. I always say he puts angels in your pathway to help you. And Dr. Carey is part of that angel crew that I have. UNC, part of the angel crew that I have in my pathway. And so, God is good. Life is good. We do have really excellent screening approaches to identify early breast cancer, which is not metastatic. And, and I would encourage people to be sure to keep up with their, their primary care physician visits, their mammography, et cetera. For metastatic breast cancer, we don't have screening tools. You know, patients are under chronic therapy and they have a, you know, they're on whatever treatment is appropriate. And the good news about metastatic breast cancer is that while we don't think of it as curable, we have we are now able to keep people alive and living well and, and frequently living their normal lives under therapy for now many, many more years than we used to be able to. So there are some real advances. When I was uh, 13, uh, I call her my other mother across the street. She died a miserable death from breast cancer. And I would go over and hold her and rub her feet. Uh, you know, her hands and her feet would burn like rubber feet and I'd talk to her and I watched her die. And we held hope that she would not succumb to it. But her, her story is totally different from my, what my story is. So I'm so grateful for the research that has gone into taking breast cancer from being a sure killer to something that you can live with, with hope for the future. Listen, I went into oncology because of people like Nasa Hayward, right? I mean, these are, people who are facing adversity and doing it with grace and perseverance and a joie de vivre, right? A real spirit that, you know, makes the job of a person who does clinical care and research in this arena. These are the people we're trying to help. Whenever whatever is going to be happens, I'm just, and when it happens, and you know, at some point it will, and I'm okay with that. And in the meantime, I'm enjoying the ride.